Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm -hmm. Well, it's what they call hump day here in North America, which is the middle of the week. <laughs> oh, you could get all kinds of connotations out of that one, I'm sure. <laughs> so, guys, one of the big news articles that's out right now is this whole debate over the Fed now system. So you've got a lot of news articles coming out giving the exact date of the full implementation of FedNow. Now, FedNow is a domestic uh, messaging system that works on ISO 222 that's going to be used in the United States that's going to replace FedWire. And it's reporting it's going to be utilizing instant payments. And a lot of the features that they highlight are certainly blockchain-based, and a lot of them look like uh, similar platforms like XRP or XLM or something like that. So you got a lot of folks out there saying, it's going to be XRP for sure, for sure. Well, guys, they might be using a Ripple-based ledger system or something very close to it. But I don't think that XRP itself is going to be used as any form of an asset for value, at least at this point anyway. But needless to say, guys, whether or not, and this is the big debate in crypto, of course, FedNow is utilizing XRP or not. The reality is, guys, that this is a major step closer to the implementation of all the central bank digital currencies that are going to come down the line and the new payment and messaging systems. And guys, I had just read an article of how Stellar has now been working with Brazil to build their CBDC. And you've got uh, Ripple helping build CBDCs in the UK and all these other countries around the world. So we can definitely see that we're going to have the implementation of this new system. Now, what concerns me more, guys, about this is what is the information behind the Fed now that is going to be transmitted along with these payments? And how is it going to impact the, you know, uh, payments here domestically in the U.S. Is it going to be something like when you uh, use your bank debit card? Is that going to work through the FedNow system for instant payments? Is it only going to be wires between various institutions? How is it going to be rolled out and employed on a national level? That's what's got me concerned more than whether or not it's utilizing XRP or not. I certainly do believe it's using some form of blockchain. Mm. Now, guys, I heard that in Cuba, because of the sanctions that are imposed against Cuba, that a lot of folks are already using various blockchains to transact, and they're just doing it individually because, hey, this is a form of secured payment that's going to be accepted, and it gives them exposure to broader markets. That's the whole point of blockchain. And I think, guys, sometimes as the crypto community, we get really caught up in the weeds of things. And it's all about who's right and who's not right and on and on. And it becomes very divisive. I mean, you can see sometimes when you're dealing with a particular issue, it's so much more important for some folks to be right rather than to, you know, uh, move the whole community forward and move the space forward in a positive way. Guys, for me, I have a philosophy, and especially in the, my family and those type of things, I'd rather save those relationships than win the argument. Sometimes being right is not worth it. Sometimes the cost of being right is really not worth the actual um, uh, uh, privilege of being right. I mean, hey, so what if I win the argument and, you know, I've hurt my, my wife deeply and down the road it has serious impacts in our relationship. Not worth it to me to be that right. And so in certain circumstances, hey, it pays a mind for us to kind of back off from those positions and not kind of attack. Because I've seen a few different YouTubers just going after one another over this whole Fed Now issue and I'm thinking, good night. It's not worth that in my view. Guys, 
What we see is the future unfolding before our very eyes. And we are so early to this space that we all should be celebrating the positions that we're in right now because it's going to change our lives down the road. That is my opinion. We are going to see such utilization and price appreciation in a majority of these assets that it is going to be unfathomable. Hmm. So I saw one tuber. Uh, YouTuber, sorry, uh, making a point today. And uh, one of the points that he was making that I thought was absolutely great, uh, he showed a little tweet where someone had did this fun fact. And the fact was that back in, I think uh, about 12 years ago, somebody sold 30,000 Bitcoin for three cents a piece. So for 900 bucks, they sold 30,000 Bitcoin. Guys, you gotta have vision. You gotta know what you hold. You gotta know why you hold it. And you gotta know what the future look is gonna be looking like. Fed now, as far as I'm concerned, is just giving us the first real peel back glimpse of what this new financial system is going to be. And I'm telling you guys, it's going to be fantastic. Now that's my opinion. So guys, this one went a little longer than I thought it was gonna. <laughs> Normally I like to keep them under five minutes so I don't get too preachy like I just did there. But anyway, guys, um, I'll be back later this afternoon with our regularly released video. And until then, I sure hope you have a fantastic day. All right, see you later.